Hey, Gospel Guitars here with continuing the series. I received the MIDI kit today, so of course, <clears throat> seeing as how I buy up a box in my hand, what do you think is going to happen next? Yep, you win. The ever dreaded unboxing. Anyway, one thing I wanted to do, why I want to shoot the unboxing video, is because they do ship these in different configurations, and I want you to see which kit I have which is the PK044000 and um, you see if I can get it a little closer here and I'll show you the components in a moment but this one has everything all the extra switches and everything you can get a slimmer kit that does not have all the extras no switches no volume control and I think it's lacking one of these cables here so do your research if you want to install the ghost MIDI system Maybe you don't have the Acoustaphonic system in your guitar and this doesn't need the, the uh, Acoustaphonic to work. You can use this as a standalone product. But I already have the Acoustaphonic and this is going to be piggyback on it as you'll see in future videos. So let's see uh, how it looks and break it out of the box. <clears throat> let's see. Well, we've got a checklist here of what's included, which is a quick switch, the program up and down switch for MIDI, the volume pot for the MIDI, hex pander preamp board, extension wiring harness, the interface wiring harness, and the 13 pin jack, which is otherwise known as the interface. Stuck to the checklist, we have a ghost Hexbander MIDI Interface Acoustic Preamp User's Guide. You can also get this in PDF format on online and I have it on my computer um, but still if you want the hardware here it is right here. At least you don't have to keep turning around and glancing at your computer screen all the time. Um, comes in a zipped bag and Dump everything out. So here's one of the uh, cable that connect. This would go, I believe, from the. Uh, mm, well, then we got this one too. So not sure which one yet goes. I think this one goes from the uh, MIDI jack. So we have these two cables. We have the volume control. If you are not familiar with these components, um, they're all have connectors on them, so there's really no soldering at all needed um, in assembling these kits. And they always put shrink wrap around their switches. They always have nice, neat jobs, and as you can see, the base of this switch is pretty skinny. So it's not one of the big, fat, square switches. These don't take up very much space inside the guitar. And again, a quick connector. And then you have another switch, which is, they're all color-coded. The instructions will tell you how that pans out. Um, bag of screws and here we have the MIDI jack okay so apparently the bigger well, is used for something else and the smaller cable. Oh, well, maybe it connects back here. Oh well, I'll check that out later. Probably have the wrong cable in my hand. <laughs> okay, and so the screw pack comes with this, and as I mentioned earlier when I was in video two, I mentioned a square plate. So this is the plate 
that is square, which is why you need to cut out a square hole wherever you're going to install this. You can install it without the plate if you want to go through the face of your guitar or something and just screw just the jack in, in that case you'd need a round hole uh, for the front and then this would mount on the back, like on the back of a pick guard or something. It'd mount the same way as it is here. Uh, let's see. And then last but not least, provided I can get it out of the bag, <clears throat> is the MIDI board itself. See, they're not very big. This is my hand, which is also not very big. <laughs> and so you can see it's pretty small. And so this is the MIDI board, and then it has a receptacle on the bottom, because on the hexaphonic, uh, or on the, um, the acoustophonic, it has this row. It does not have this row of pins, but it does have this row. And so this snaps right on top of it by using this receptacle here. It'll just snap right on there. And all of the cables would just be moved from the acoustophonic to this attachment right here. And then all your MIDI pickups hook up here. So we'll get into that later with the actual install. But there it is. That's the kit. Complete. It comes with everything. So you have your volume control, your two switches, to control your MIDI up and down and between the MIDI system and the guitar itself, um, your cable harnesses, ribbon wires, volume control, the jack, screws, and the actual MIDI board. So that's the kit that's getting installed. So now, on to part four, the drilling.